four wide into one corner with AI on F123 and we all come through unscathed. What is up guys and welcome to F123 proper gameplay by me. Big shout out to EA for the early preview. I'm going to show you some game modes over the course of the next few days so make sure you subscribe to see that. Breaking Point is in that as well. But today we're going to focus on a 100% race around Bahrain as Oscar Piastri. I'll talk about the handling. I'll talk about everything in this video. Let's go. Welcome to the Bahrain International Circuit. And any moment now, our drivers will take to the track. And the Enough about that, Crofty. We have a Grand Prix to get through in under 16 minutes. So here we are on the grid. We're going to load pretty much an F122 setup. We'll get a feel of the fuel burn and the tire wear. Wing gap is pretty much the same as F122. I'm just guessing here. Um, the only change really is suspension. You have finer detail of the options you can choose. I'm running quite low ride height. It's really a stab in the dark, so let's see how it feels. The formation lap gets underway then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid, with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. And now the fun begins. Formation lap is underway, bringing it back to the grid now. I'll talk about the handling in a second. We just need to get this race underway and uh, we'll be away and flying. Uh, you'll get a good uh, glimpse of what the race starts are like because this year, they're a lot easier because of the traction. Five red lights, and away we go for the Bahrain Grand Prix. 57 laps await us and way less wheel spin than F122. Also, the amount of revs required to get underway is you can, you can rev up the engine a whole lot more as we go around the outside of many cars in a turn one. We go from P17 to P9 in just one corner. Absolutely flying. Everyone was defending the inside, looking for an opportunity. We took the fast and flowing run around the outside and uh, displaced many AI in the process. Around the outside of Sergio Perez, who's not had a good qualifying in this uh, weekend. P9 now in the Red Bull. He'll be absolutely ashamed with that. Have a listen to the engine. Sounds pretty good, uh, it must be said. Uh, one thing of note is that even though the uh, the natural tone of the engine is deeper in general, when you get uh, to the top of eighth gear, it, like, the engine kind of revs higher um, than, than what we've heard before. I don't know if they're going to adjust that. The engine doesn't rev higher, but just the, the engine note sounds like it's higher than what it actually is. So that is uh, definitely something of note. But yes, let's talk about the handling now as we're about to spin. Curbs can still kill you. Um, so be careful of those, of course. I am running with uh, very low ride height, so that might attribute to that as well. But yes, um, you can mash down the throttle a lot more than F122. Uh, it's all about more realistic uh, torque that you get from the engine. You might have noticed I had a back end loss heading into the last corner. That is because another change for this year is um, you can have rear locking with the brakes. You might notice that my front brake bias is way higher than what you'd normally expect from F122. Um, pretty much every track in every scenario you, want to want, you wanted to run 50 brake bias. Nice work, that is mate. not the That's case anymore. The, um, the kind of threshold to get away with not locking the rears is actually 58% as we have a spin there. Um, so even though we have more traction, it's not unlimited traction. I will say that. Tire temps there, you can see they're also different. 105 degrees on the front left tire, and it's not gone yellow yet. So it looks like the tires can withstand higher temperatures before they start to overheat. So that is uh, a nice addition. Heading into this uh, double left-hander, there's another case of the rear locking. As I was pushing the limits with the brake bias and as the tires wear out, you're going to be more susceptible to uh, that, that rear locking. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty outrageous. I say it's outrageous. It could be a setup issue for me. Uh, definitely a skill issue as I was pushing the limits. I was on 57 brake bias, trying to really make up a lot of time on the way into the corner. 
Lock the rear, spun around, lost that front wing. Uh, we're on simulation damage, and the safety car has been deployed. Safety cars can be brought out by uh, people retiring, debris, you know, the usual stuff, pretty much. Also, red flags are new for this year, but are not in this build of the game, unfortunately. But red flags can be triggered for the exact same reason. So, uh, when I can, you best believe I'll be testing how... Uh, we can get a red flag on F123, so make sure you subscribe to see that video. But regardless, back to the racing, and we are raring to go for a restart here in the Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, pretty much got away with that one, really. Uh, we didn't lose that much track position. We got a new set of tyres. The vast majority of the field didn't stop. So we're actually in a pretty good position here with tyres. Uh, not to get to the end, but we're going to have more flexibility than the AI as we get ready to get back to green flag running. Tyres are slightly cold, but not as bad as what you might think they are. Away we go. P20. Everyone on soft compound tyres. We're on the mediums. I'm hoping that uh, the mediums will feel nicer than what the softs were. Um, yes, the softs felt amazing in the first few laps, but uh, once they started the wear, to wear, the, the rears um, weren't, weren't great. You, you really lose that rear traction pretty quickly when the tire wear drops off. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Using that curb on the left-hand side there on the exit of turn four gives you so much grip, by the way. So I've been loving being able to use that a lot more on this game. Heading into turn one, we've got a nice little battle here between Bottas, Kwon Yu Zhou, Lando Norris, and Yuki Tsunoda. We uh, get the switch back on our teammate up to P17. It's three wide up here for these guys. And we're going to enter this battle and make it four wide. Heading into turn four, we get up the inside of everyone and make the move stick up into P14. Four wide into one corner with AI on F123. And we all come through unscathed. Absolutely incredible. That was the only time in this race, by the way, where I got turned in by the AI, um, which is something that happens a lot on F122. But I'm happy to say um, that was the only time I got turned in on by an AI. And we're four wide. So you've got to expect that, to be honest. Um, in all other scenarios, where like on lap one, for example, you dive bomb someone, you normally get turned in on by someone at some point. Uh, but that hasn't happened so far on this game, apart from that scenario. Um, yeah, for the most part, the AI have not changed. But uh, it seems like they don't turn in on you as much, which is a nice feature. Anyway, we run on board with the Aston Martin. They are overtaking the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. DRS is very powerful on this game. And you'll notice that in, in many examples I show you. Here's one here with uh, Nico Hulkenberg. We try to go around the outside. It's uh, not as clear cut there because he had DRS too, but when you see some isolated battles where someone has DRS and the other person doesn't, it's crazy the overspeed you'll be able to get. But uh, settling into this race now, guys, uh, temperatures are coming down. Sun is now setting. There's a full day-night transition uh, around Bahrain in a 100% race. That's been the case ever since I want to say F1 2014, we've had those day-night transitions, and um, graphic, graphically, game looks incredible. I'm running on max settings, uh, ultra settings rather. Um, we've got ray tracing on, 1440p. Um, one thing I did notice is um, there's like this, I don't know if it's reflections or pickup on the tires. I think it's probably pickup on the tires because it was, it was very sensitive, particularly in the first sector. I'd go slightly offline and there'd, there'd be all this just stuff on my tyres. You can see it right there. Same with Gasly as well as we give him a big squeeze heading into turn one. Okay, but um, I, ooh, down a place. I think that's a visual glitch from, from Albon. Um, that does happen from time to time. But uh, sometimes I feel like I wouldn't even go offline, off the racing line, and I'd still get that weird pickup of reflections on the tyres. There's a nice reflection of the uh, flashing red light from my car on Gasly, which was really cool. His teammate Ocon is into the pit lane for an early undercut onto medium compound tires now. And uh, the rest of the leaders follow suit. Verstappen coming in for another set of soft compound tires. I think same two with uh, Sainz here. So the leaders are coming in again. They need to put on mediums to get to the end of this race. 
So it's a two-stop race from here, double soft and a medium. We're electing to take our medium now. And uh, I guess the plan for me is to wait for a safety car. And I'm going to box softs again as uh, Verstappen gets past Logan Sargent there for P2. Pretty easy overtake. The Red Bull is very quick in a straight line, coupled with the DRS. And it's not even a competition. Anyway, at this point, this is a very painful point of the Grand Prix for me as I've got old tyres and the race leaders are catching up to me. So get ready for this absolute flurry of uh, faster cars overtaking me. Good chance as well to see the racecraft of the AI at this point. Verstappen flies past. Here comes Perez as well. Now watch this. He's going to have DRS on the car ahead. I don't believe okay, I have so DRS here, but in the slipstream, he still pulls away. Which, uh, yeah, you probably expect that, to be honest. There goes Russell with the DRS. Now here comes Charles Leclerc. It was uh, absolutely painful. Hamilton gets past me here, and now I have DRS on someone. And they don't have DRS. Look at the closing speed. The AI have been flying past me for many laps. And it was nice to have DRS on someone and to actually be able to overtake someone. So even with my draggy McLaren with... Um, Arguably, maybe more downforce than the AI. I was still able to fly past them. So, DRS is uh, is is very strong. That's the takeaway from uh, my early gameplay so far. Coming on later onto the Grand Prix, um, I just got overtaken by many people. I'm sliding down the order. You'll notice, yeah, I have some DRS here, so I was able to re-overtake Science, who didn't have DRS. Double overtake in a turn one. That was very satisfying, but. The, the flow of this race is that I'm just drifting further and further back. I'll get the odd overtake on someone when I when I get DRS on someone. But for the most part, I'm sliding in this Grand Prix. I've got old medium compound tires. Everyone else has got fresher softs. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for that safety car, really, as uh, we're now into the midfield. Maybe even lower midfield now as we get dispatched by an Alpine. And uh, I think that's Guan Yu Zhou. No, it's Bottas. Bottas flies past Gasly now into turn four. We're already 31 laps into this race. And uh, yeah, I can already tell it is absolutely key to have fresh tires in this race. George Russell retires in the Mercedes. No safety car, unfortunately. We've got aging tires here. A cheeky spin out of the last corner. And that was enough to bring the safety car out. So took that opportunity with another safety car caused by me to uh, take advantage onto the soft compound tires and away we go for the closing stages of this race. Eight laps to go and we are on an absolute charge with fresh soft compound tires. Majority of the field, I, I, in fact, I don't think anyone stopped under that last safety car. So they're running with pretty old mediums at this point. So we need that advantage, absolutely, because the AI are very quick at this stage. Of course, I'm not fully used to the game, and I probably don't have an optimal setup for F123. It's only the first day of me having the game, pretty much. So, uh, of course, I'm going to be lacking a bit of pace compared to the most difficult AI. In fact, it would be a bit disappointing, really, if I was um, OP compared to the AI, even at this stage, when I'm still learning. This was a nice overtake up the inside of Gasly into the double left-hander. I got overtaken by someone... Uh, in this fashion earlier on in the race, but it was nice to do that Alonso-esque move uh, late on in the race just to get some confidence back. Flashing with the battery. You can tell I'm low. We go around the outside of Fernando Alonso. Tiny bit of contact, but no damage received. I also got damage um, in my stint earlier on in the race. Um, I made contact with Gasly, I think it was, in the Alpine, and uh, that as well was attributing to my lack of pace on the mediums as I was um, nursing some, some very minor front wing damage. So um, yeah, you might not have noticed that, but that was a thing that occurred midway through the race. Anyway, penultimate lap of the Grand Prix, and we have a chance to get top five in a McLaren on a track which is certainly not suited to the McLaren. Around the outside we go on Esteban Ocon, and uh, I actually, when I was driving this, I thought this was the last lap. Hence, this desperate dive bomb into the right-hander, up the inside of Carlos Sainz, absolutely no battery left. And I thought, oh my words, I've frauded a P5 here. I was celebrating across the line. Okay, final lap, let's go, final lap. Okay. Only to have my dreams dashed. Two overtakes lost, <laughs> two positions lost, as they both have DRS on me. I've got no battery and my tires 
are fading as we go around the outside of Ocon. That was uh, quite fortunate for us to retake that position. A bit of uh, rear locking into that double left-hander as the tyres are now starting to go off. Final DRS zone of the race. Unfortunately, unable to close up on Sainz like I want to. Wasn't close enough to dive bomb. I'm out of battery. Sainz is as well. Max Verstappen wins the Bahrain Grand Prix and we miss out on a top five. But P6 is still incredible. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. There we go, guys. That was my first proper race on F123. Chucked ourselves right in the deep end there with a 100% race. And we survived just about, despite a couple of moments of uh, front wing damage. Many spins with the uh, the tires going off and the rear locking. That's cer certainly something to watch out for. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the gameplay. Please leave a like and subscribe because I've got plenty more F123 gameplay over the next few days.